Stefan Eisenberg loves his job as a trash collector because it keeps him active and on his feet. It's remarkable because years ago, Eisenberg lost his right foot when a garbage truck rolled over it. Last fall, he replaced his missing foot with the future. You have a robot on your right foot? Yes. Yeah. What is it exactly? It's a bionic ankle. His bionic ankle is called the biome. To understand what makes it bionic, we visited company headquarters outside of Boston and put weight on the ankle ourselves. Oh, yeah. it punches back. Yeah. So the more you pushed on it, the more it pushed back. Hugh Herr is the lead developer of the biome and a professor at MIT. Unlike a normal foot prosthetic that's essentially a spring, the biome is a machine packed with processors, gyroscopes, and motors. It senses how fast the amputee wants to walk or run, and then the robot responds, just like the body, with force. Your foot hits the ground, and what happens? When my foot hits the ground, it moves as if it has a calf muscle and Achilles and it's being controlled by the spinal cord. Her has worked to perfect the bionic ankle ever since he lost both legs in a mountain climbing accident 20 years ago. Some of his early funding came from the U.S. military and today dozens of veterans who lost their legs in the wars have been fitted with the biome ankle. We have an opportunity to advance bionics to get all, all these many soldiers that are returning with missing arms and legs and returning them to a very normal, high quality of life. For the users of bionic limbs, the biggest change isn't technological, it's profoundly human. Many amputees see the limbs as so functional, they stop seeing themselves as impaired. It's pretty amazing how it works, especially once you get used to it. Is it to the point where you forget that it's there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I always forget that it's there. Eisenberg used to keep a mental list of where he could not go and what he could not do. But months ago, the bionic man wearing the future tossed that can't-do list away. Wyatt Andrews, CBS News, Bedford, Massachusetts.